Welcome once again to another drone tour. This time, we got to take a look at the Sand Falcon, a British hopper dredger. Join us on this journey as we explore the ins and outs of this wonderful ship. The Sand Falcon. Every detail of this vessel has been precisely engineered to offer both efficiency and sustainability when outperforming its daily operations. This 26-year-old dredger flies the flag of the United Kingdom, operating its business out of the port of Southampton. Managed and owned by Semex UK Marine Ltd, Sand Falcon boasts two engines, totaling an overall power of 4,920 kilowatts. These dredges work on the outline of mechanical cutter suction dredges, except that these dredges are equipped with a rotating Archimedean screw for cutting, which is placed perpendicular to the suction pipe. The auger-like screw rotates and removes material, after removal the material is served to the centrally placed suction pipe. This dredging method is employed where the material is to be dredged in precise vertical as well as horizontal dimensions. Semex is a Mexican multinational building materials company headquartered in San Pedro, near Monterrey. It manufactures and distributes cement, ready-mix concrete and aggregates in more than 50 countries. With one dredging pipe, this vessel can dredge to a depth of 33 meters and has a hopper volume of 4,000 cubic meters. Taking a look at the measurements of this remarkable ship, we are greeted with an overall length of 120 meters, sitting at a width of 19.5 meters. Maybe one of the most standout features is the vessel's dead weight, coming in at an impressive 9,153 tons. This may come as no surprise for a hopper dredger of this size. While it will come as no surprise that working on a dredger is an extremely noisy job, we were surprised to learn the control room is built to be completely soundproof. This particular design of dredger is to dredge either sand or gravel, also, when needed, a full mixture of both. Installed is also a self-emptying channel located in the hopper compartment. Sand Falcon will commonly be seen in and around Europe, dropping her cargo off in ports all over, mostly to building sites and building companies. The Sand Falcon first hit the open waters back in 1998, manufactured at the famous shipyard Merwede of the Netherlands, a company that has been shipbuilding for well over 100 years. When Sand Falcon was first built, she was one of only two twin screw hopper dredges, the second being a dredger called Sand Fulmar who we will be featuring soon on this channel, so please subscribe if you would like to see that one in the not too distant future. A report was logged back in 2010, stating, Sand Falcon was secured alongside a jetty when the trolley from its gantry-type stores crane detached and fell 7.5 meters, landing on the deck guardrails. The trolley weighed over 400 kilograms and narrowly missed seven people who were working nearby, either on the main deck or on the jetty ashore. The crane was being prepared to load ship stores at the time and was not lifting any weight. This was later put down to a safety issue on a poor crane design. During the pandemic, a considerable amount of sea work was put on hold for a large amount of time. However, when back underway, the Sand Falcon, along with its sister vessels, is manned by a crew of up to 13 and will likely spend 36 hours at sea at any one time. Since the pandemic, more than 20% of the nation's demand for sand and gravel is now met by hopper dredges, with most of that business happening from her home port of Southampton. Surprisingly, the Sand Falcon is one of many vessels that finds itself helping local coast guards carry out safety drills. Periodically the UK and European Coast Guard helicopters do a safety drill on various vessels. They prefer to try and drill on vessels that have particular issues with the amount of free deck space. This is so when or if they have to attend in an emergency they have experience in landing the crew members in a restricted space. The technique they use is called the high line technique, which means they lower the crew member on the winch line away from the vessel and then when he is level with the landing area they maneuver the helicopter in towards the target area. They then recover the crew member in the same manner. If you like this ship videos, please leave us a like and consider subscribing as it goes a long way to helping us in our mission to build a thriving ship spotting community and make more ship spotting videos. 
We would love to hear your stories or anything interesting you may know about this vessel.